Hey, it's Joel, the 3D printing nerd. Look, I, I like comic books, I like comic book movies. I'm more Marvel than DC, but that's okay. Listen, we need to print out some Wolverine claws and LaFab Shop, they, they have a fantastic model. So, let's print them. You ready? Go. There I was on Thingiverse and I saw this featured model. It was the Le Fab Shop. Boy, I hope I'm not butchering that. I suck. God, I suck at these names. Le Fab Shop uploaded a video for the Wolverine Claws or just Claws or whatever they're called, but they, they print all as one piece and they have this wicked overhang while they print, which you'll see in the time lapse. And, and they just come off the printer and then it should work. So. It looks cool on Thingiverse. Their video looks cool. Well, let's print it. You ready? Time lapse. the time lapse is done. I pulled them off the printer and massive failure. So <laughs> I actually had to rip it apart to try to get it to work and, and here's what works. Ready? Crap. Ripping it apart isn't good because then it comes apart but if, let's see, if I can fit it back in. Okay. You ready? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This was all my fault. Within Simplify 3D, you have the option of setting the, the horizontal space um, compensation, I think it is. I don't remember, I don't have it in front of me. But from a previous model, I had that turned up to 0.2 millimeter, meaning it expanded every perimeter outwards 0.2 millimeters. And with the tolerances on this being so dang tight, it essentially rendered it useless and all of the claws are stuck within the length of the body. So I had to print it again. Ah, this next one should do it. I pulled it off the print bed and not as massive of a failure, but it was still a failure. So for some reason, they just don't want to print and they don't want to slide easy and it, it does that. Almost there, we're so close. Here's what I figured out with this. In Simplify 3D, you have the the not the uh, the extrusion diameter. I think is what it is. You have the setting of auto, or you can assign it. Usually, I have it assigned at 0.5 millimeters, which is the nozzle size on my Gmax 1.5 XT. Yeah, I had this one set to auto. And Simplify 3D in a in the in the box where you can put the number when you have 0.5 as your nozzle diameter, it puts a 0.6 in there, which renders the spaces between all these things absolutely useless and it biggens everything. It's just, it's crap. So yet again, we're gonna print it one more time. You ready? Here we go. Fingers crossed. All right, I pulled it off the printer and... <laughs> yeah. Yes! Oh my goodness. These pulled off the printer and worked, uh, for the most part, almost perfect. What I did is I took a piece of sandpaper and I sanded down any of the rough edges within the claws so they're able to slide easy. Let's see. I'll put it all together. Usually if you stab someone with these, they all go back. But let's see if I can, I'll do it from right here. That's how they do it. That's how they do it. Okay, ready? So you do this, and then you can stick a, like a Velcro strap through there, and then it's, yeah. Oh, I am, I am one bad mofo right now. I could totally tear into a Taco Bell burrito with these claws, right? Hey, that was a fun print, right? I hope you can print this as well. In fact, if you do, 
take a picture of it because it has this wicked, wicked overhang. In fact, in fact, I put a picture of that overhang in the 3D printing subreddit and it's, it's within the top 10 of the, the upvoted pictures in that subreddit, which is amazing. Um, that, that overhang is crazy. Uh, man, this is a fun print. This was a fun print. I'm, I get the feeling I'm going to have to make more of these because while I want this, I'm, I'm willing to bet my kids are going to take it from me. Hey, if you enjoyed this video, please, please hit thumbs up. If you're not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to my channel. I bring you all sorts of fun content and, and I say funny things from time to time. Seriously, I would like to take a moment to thank you for watching my videos. If you're willing to keep coming back and watch the videos I make, well then I'm more than willing to keep making these videos. And as always, high five.